So what's happening in manufacturing and supply chain? Well, actually we're realizing that we have to refocus on our talent. As the technological transformation is underway, the digital transformation, whatever we wanna call it, um, our needs for our employees are changing rapidly. We, instead of doing things manually, we need to start you know, doing them in conjunction with computers and uh, you know, finding ways to automate, to um, utilize technology to support and make better decisions, uh, to have better analytics, et cetera. So if we do all of that, we need to continue to develop our skills. And so we, we really need to think about what kind of training and development programs we're putting together for our employees. Uh, there are many options out there. And um, what kind of mentoring processes do we have in place at our companies? Do we have, do we have people who can answer questions as to like, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? How, how do we add value uh, to the process? Um, and what kinds of skills do we need to learn more about and what kinds of concepts do we need to learn more about and how exciting that could be so that we can make sure that our talent is going to be going with us into 2021, 2022, and where we need to be going from here in order to be successful as a company. We don't want to leave our people in the dust. After all, if we do, our company will follow because there's you know, it has to start with your people. So be thinking about what kinds of training programs you could put in place, what kinds of mentoring programs you could put in place. Uh, some of it can be on site. Uh, it can be, um, it can be virtual. Uh, it can be um, through other trade associations. Like I'm the president of the Association for Supply Chain Management. We have some really solid uh uh, education programs on um, manufacturing, ERP, how to use ERP, supply chain, um, and logistics um, types of programs. You could also partner with uh, other organizations, community colleges. Uh, there's a lot of innovative things you can do. And what I'm finding is, is that clients that are pursuing multiple avenues to keep their people um, focused on the future, feeling like they're contributing and making a difference are far more successful than the rest. So I'd really like to advocate that you start to think, we all think a little bit about, you know, what kinds of people should I um, try to attract and how do I find new people? But remember, mo well, actually, I can tell you this, of 15, actually almost 16 years of consulting now, I have yet to run across a client that didn't have hidden gems in their organization that they just didn't know were as uh, capable or they had a lot of skills that just needed some, um, they needed to supplement those skills or give them the right terminology or, or empower them to uh, make additional uh, you know, progress in their area and they could be wildly successful. So uh, look in your organizations and find ways that you can bring your people uh, into, the, uh, into your projects that are most meaningful so that you can be successful long-term. And part, find organizations to partner with. Find community colleges do a great job. There's in the Inland Empire, we have uh, a, um, a facility that helps to train in some of the uh, uh, like I don't know, welding and um, some key skills that are needed for uh, manufacturing professionals. Uh, there, are, there are lots of options. And so please start pursuing them because if not, you'll be left in the dust. And it's mainly because uh, things have changed with the pandemic. Customer requirements are changing. The technology is advancing at a quicker pace than ever before. And uh, we need to be able to do meet our customer changes, keep up with what's happening from a technological perspective so that we can provide, uh, grow our business while making money and have uh, more cash available uh, for investing in the future. So um, 
Uh, I'd like to uh, leave us with this uh, thought that we should relook and re-examine uh, how we can develop our people over the next uh, several months. And uh, I have many articles about this type of topic on, uh, on my website and in my blog. So please feel free to, uh, to join me there. Thank you.